fellow viewers, my name is Ethan Nueva, and today I'm going to teach you how to successfully roll up a projector screen, such as this one provided by Mr. Hubschman. Now studies have shown that the most optimal way to roll up a projector screen is by using these units with these exact specifications, such as force, time, and velocity, which we will all be going over today. Now for the most optimal performance you want to roll, the flick of the wrist should take exactly 0.25 seconds down to the millisecond. Now, for the force, you want a force of 78.4 newtons. Now, as shown here in this little diagram, using trigonometry, we can also see that the hypotenuse of the force would be 92.1 newtons, and that the other unit would be 48.4 newtons. So this right here is the force you're pushing down with your wrist. <clears throat> now, the amount of force should it be 78.4 newtons. Now, if you don't know what that is because you live in America, that is approximately 17.8 pounds of weight or eight kilograms. Now, for the angle, it's going to be 45 degrees. Now, the angle makes the forces work because when you pull it up, it should be exactly at a 45 degree angle, such as my hand right here. Now, by combining the distance and time, we can find velocity. The distance that the hand travels, we found out, was to be 20 centimeters. And that movement for successful pull optimization would only take you 0.5 seconds. That gives us a velocity of 40 centimeters a second. So by having the correct velocity, force, and time, you can successfully pull a projector. Thank you viewers for watching. Hello, dear viewer. Today, I'm gonna teach you. <laughs> you want to roll up the projector screen in exactly 0.25 seconds for optimum pullage. Now, with the correct force, <laughs> as I've shown that the correct force you need is 78.4 newtons. Or, if you don't live in the US, <laughs> shit, I scared it. Now, if you don't live in the US, that is basic crap. <laughs> Hello viewers, my name is Ethan Noida. I graduated from Yale University and here I am to teach you. Now best results show that if you go to the micrometer